address. I spoke to Myra on the phone and she said I could send over this video in an email. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to point out a few things that I noticed that you could really improve upon that would increase some traffic to your business, you know, beating out your competition in the search results online. And a lot of times the only hesitation I see that business owners have to hiring someone for this sort of thing is they just don't really know who the experts are and who they're not. So I found by giving out this free plan of attack, you know, these three things that you can do and implement yourself has really resulted in a lot of business owners just coming back to me and saying, hey, Holden, I could really use your help. So if by the end of this video, you feel like I've got some value and you want to chat, uh, we can definitely do that. If not, that's fine too. These three things will definitely help you out if you implement them. So I recommend doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. I got your website pulled up right here. Now, when it comes to search engine optimization for Google, the first thing that they really look at is content. They want to see at least 1500 words of content alone on just your homepage. Uh, and I have this tool over here. It's called SEO quick. This is a free tool that you can pick up yourself. And it basically just pulls some metrics off of your homepage. Um, and the important thing I wanted to show you is this right here. You know, it says that you got about almost 700 words of content on your homepage. So that falls short, you know, pretty significantly that 1500 that Google really likes for optimization. Now, the next thing as far as content go goes is keywords. And I'm sure you've heard of them before. But it's basically anything that someone searches for up in this Google search bar to find you. You know, whatever services you offer, you know, whatever people are searching for to find you, Google likes to match what people are searching for with the most relevant content out there. And that means including that those keywords in your content, right? And you don't want to be putting way too many of them in there. You don't want to be overloading it. You just want to pick the ones that are specific to your services. Otherwise, you'll lose some authority in the search results and Google will push you down and you won't get as many as much traffic. Now, the next thing I want to show you is this over here. This is called the local map pack. This is basically how you get lo found locally in your area for, you know, any of the services you offer. And it's a great, great tool because it's literally the first thing that pops up in the search results. So a lot of people click on this and are, these people are generating a lot of traffic through it and it's free, which is amazing. Now, the way that you get ranked in this is basically by getting your name, address, and phone number out there as many times as possible into as many directories as possible. And that's things like Yellow Pages, Facebook, Yelp, you know, social media accounts. But the key is consistency. You wanna make sure that your, your name, address, and phone number is the same across all of them. Any inconsistencies, Google will kind of get a little bit confused and that can seem confusing to the customer. So Google will deduct some authority points from, it, from you for that. And you will not be showing up in this, this number three, top three of the map pack, which is where most of the traffic comes. Now down here, this is called the organic area. This is basically where most people will click on. There's not many people going to the second, third, fourth, fifth page of Google. Everybody usually clicks on the first page. And the way that you got to look at this organic area to get ranked on the first page is like Google is a popularity contest. There's all these things out there called backlinks. And backlinks are basically popularity votes. They're, they're links from other websites linking to your website. And the more of them that you have, you know, the more authoritative that your website seems to Google, and then they start boosting you up in the search results. Now, not all backlinks are created equal. You know, you want to make sure that you're finding backlinks that are relative, relative to your industry. Uh, you can't get pizza shops linking to your true removal site. Google will recognize that there's inconsistencies there, and you'll kind of lose some authority there for that. So if we go over to this right here, I can show you this guy right here. Gabriel's Tree Services. He's kind of the top competitor in the Los Angeles area, it seems like. And he's basically one of the first people that shows up in the search results after this tree removal, but this is not a local guy. And if you look on this tool called SEM Rush, which is a pretty powerful tool to see how much traffic a website is getting and why they're getting that much traffic, I can show you right here that he's getting found organically through search results about 236 times a month and that you are getting found about 31 times a month. So that's how many people are actually getting to your website a month. And if you look over here, you can see how many backlinks and, that he has versus you. So right here, you, I, he has 188 websites linking back to his website 3,700 times and you have 27 websites linking back to your website 64 times. So you can see the discrepancy there and that's why he's able to get so much more traffic than you or at least one of the main reasons. 
Um, over here, this kind of shows how many keywords Google actually recognizes on your website as keywords that people are searching for. So you have 128 and this guy's got 198. Now, one thing that I will say is, you know, targeting specific keywords, you can find ones that have high volumes and are low difficulty, meaning they don't have a lot of competition. And those are, those are easier keywords to target versus, you know, ones that are high competition and, you know, may not have as much volume. So it's really uh, picking, picking and choosing which keywords you want to put on your website. But hey, I, I want to just reiterate the three things, you know, content, making sure you get at least 1500 words on your homepage, adding in those keywords, right, that people are searching for, for your services. And then for the local map pack, you want to go out and get those directory citations, which is name, address, and phone number consistently across as many of them as you can. And then finally, you want to make sure to get in this organic area that you're getting backlinks to your website from other websites. You know, that could be reaching out to other companies or other websites and seeing if you can get a link on there. Um, and that'll start boosting you up in the search results. And you can start collecting some of this traffic that this guy has here. You know, that's, that's a significant amount of people that are, are going to his website. And if you could collect a fraction of that, you could probably start getting a lot more customers and more business. So, hey, I hope this was helpful. And like I said, if you wanna chat some more, shoot me a message. If not, that's totally fine too. The only thing I do ask is that if you don't mind, could you give me a call or send me an email back and let me know what you thought of the video. I'd love to hear some feedback. All right, thanks a lot and have a great day.